again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. <laughs> That's a fun way to start a video. You currently join me in the DC state capital, wait, state capital, DC state capital in Washington, DC, the state capital of the United States of America. Outside the Thomas Jefferson Memorial. And oh my goodness, I've only been in the city for a little while, only about five hours I've been traveling around today. I'm just blown away by it. It's an absolutely gorgeous city. But where there is a city, there is mega constructs. <laughs> Sounds so silly me saying that when I'm in such a beautiful place. But you know, I'm going to be traveling around for the next two days and I'll see some targets. I'll see some Walmarts. I'll see some Ross dress for lesses and um, <laughs> and I'll probably end up uh, buying something. More than anything, I just want to do a travel blog to show off this uh, beautiful state capital. Uh, so I'm going to integrate nice footage of all these beautiful landmarks. I hope you guys enjoy and I hope I find some Halo. See you all soon. Wish me luck. Oh, what do you look at that? World War II memorial in the background and US state capital over there. I've always dreamt about walking down this strip. I'm kind of making this video just because, I mean, it's less about hunting for the halo, to be honest, and more about just being able to show off the footage that I'm taking. I absolutely adore filming uh, when I'm traveling. I just, I just love it. I, and I love putting it into videos. That's why I have my second channel, Wandering Motion. Man, this is a beautiful city, especially the weather like, Ah, feeling blessed, feeling blessed. Gonna feel even more blessed if I can find some Halo. <laughs> So the first location on my hunt for Halo in the US state capital, which just has such a good ring to it, is at a Walmart. And it's not too far away. It's actually close to the Union Station. It's where I arrived yesterday. Walmart has the exclusive ODST Hive Exterminator and Red Team Charge. So my odds, 50-50. Uh, Let's call it 50-50. I like those odds. Let's check it out. Usually we don't get lucky in these Walmarts and Targets in like big city centers, basically because they're so small or like they're greatly, I still say so small, usually bigger than any British supermarket, but still smaller than the average super center. But this one, I mean, it's listed as a super center online and it is quite bigger than the Targets in the center of Minnesota in Minneapolis. So uh, let's let's see what we can find. Uh, it's not looking too promising, boys. Just a load of Lego. Not the largest toy aisle. Surprisingly, a lot of bicycles. <laughs> but uh, yeah, not the largest toy aisle. I don't think we're gonna find anything here. They do, however, have the worst value for money set ever. <laughs> $50, dollars $50 for a gray base plate and some characters. Oh man, I mean, the robot's kinda neat, but 50 buckaroos, no thank you, Lego. <laughs> You know what, folks? For $20? That, that's not, that's pretty, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Also, a uh, side note, hilariously, a woman, uh, while I was filming, said, um, so is that one of those Star Wars? <laughs> you love to see it, you love to see it. This is pretty good. Uh, if I wasn't traveling, uh, I would actually buy this, but I think I'll get it at uh, some other time. But that's, that's not bad for $20. Not bad, Halo. I tip my hat to you, Bonnie Ross. So, uh, Walmart was kind of a bust. Depends how you look at it. I mean, those costumes were pretty cool, especially the energy sword. But the night is young. Although the sun is setting, we've got more work to do. I found a location quite close to the Capitol building where there's a TJ Maxx and a Marshalls. Both sell Halo, 
both have a chance of finding gold. And oh man, I gotta tell you, this is one of the nicest cities in the world to use an electric scooter. Like, yes, I'm not wearing a helmet and you really should, but there's no helmet rental and I'm only here for two days. But these things are capped at about five miles per hour. There's scooter lanes everywhere. Everybody's super aware of the scooters. It's very, very safe. I'm having a great time. Anyway, this halo to be found. Let's roll out. <laughs> Gosh, did that sound corny? <laughs> that probably sounded really corny. There's Halo to be found. Let's roll out. Okay, quick tangent. Why is there an office experience? I mean, not being funny, but like, it's just a show, man. Like, even the cast don't look remotely happy to be there. Like, that's not, that's not right, dude. Like, it's just, there's no need for this. <laughs> The Halo selection is miserable. It's offensive. I mean, what selection? The toy selection. The Halo selection isn't here. It's non-existent. TJ Maxx in England is called TK Maxx. Same company, same store, same everything, just different name. Looks like TJ Maxx is TJ Bust. Marshalls, marshals, marshals. Do you have any look for me? Probably not. Guys, I know just about a minute ago I bashed TJ Maxx, but I take it all back. TJ Maxx was amazing. This this is the entirety of the toy aisle. <laughs> like, it's not... What, what's going on, guys? Oh, no, this is the city living, man. This is city living right here. You don't, you don't find no Halo in this city. Also, I'm officially in the big city because I just saw my first rat, boys. We got Halo 3 rat in the city. Uh, yeah. Pretty much a bust but i mean it's one of those i love halo hunting i know it kind of seems crazy because i'm in the state capital what am i doing spending time hunting for halo it's really just the experience of like getting to a new place i'm exploring streets that i never would have i get to take all these amazing scooter rides like it's a win-win-win well it's a win-win it would be a win-win-win if we found any halo but tomorrow let's keep our fingers crossed we're gonna struck we're gonna struck gold now we're gonna strike gold Let's check it out. Transition to tomorrow. Folks, it is an absolutely divine morning in Washington, D.C. Look at the state capitol. It looks so beautiful. I've had the most divine time riding around the last... Uh, only... It was literally just one day yesterday that I was just riding non-stop and uh it's it's been phenomenal so far the sun is shining on the capitol building and saying simon you should believe you're gonna find some halo today <laughs> uh, it's still so funny i'm hunting for halo in the state capitol i i i it's such a meme it's such a meme but then again at what point has my life not been a meme to be honest uh, so we're gonna ride out the first place we're gonna go is a surefire guaranteed halo hall Target. Target always has Halo, it's the most reliable. Following that, two Ross Dress for Lesses. And hopefully, by the end of that, we're gonna have found some Halo, and then, ooh, Hong Kong. And then we're gonna head off sightseeing to a lot of museums. Wish us luck, Spartans. In all its divine glory. Now, this doesn't look like the largest target. I don't want to say that I've given up hope. <laughs> no, I think we'll find something. But uh, yeah, it's not a big target. And these city stores, as I've explained, like not got the best. Oh, it is two floors though. Give me something good, come on. Jazzware first. Gungnir, Halo 2 Master Chief, Spartan Jun, and Gungnir. Not so bad. All right, we got the Mantis. For some reason, it's had a price, a massive price hike. It used to be 40, so that's a bit weird. But, oh, would you look at that. Felverdom, the Arbiter. $35, I think I've managed to find it cheaper online, so I'm gonna get it there, but this is phenomenal with the Prophet's Bane. Look at that. This makes me hopeful for the mega selection. These city targets have very strange layouts, but yeah. On the end, we've got the mega constructs. And down here, two full boxes of Infinite Series 3. Pretty good. The Hijacked Ghost and the Razorback Blitz. And quite a lot of them at that. Beautiful. I thought, uh, why not? Basically, they were two sealed boxes of Infinite Series 3. The only real uh, figure that's worth anything nowadays is the, oh, the, oh wait, where is it? I can't see it. Ah, just kidding. Uh, it's an old joke. Yeah, the AC Brute Chief actually fetches a pretty penny on eBay nowadays. It's a really nice figure. So I thought, why not just bag both of them? AC Craig 
It's funny that they had two sealed boxes of Infinite Series 3. They're old, man. <laughs> we got Infinite Series 4. What have you got an old Series 3 box for, let alone two? I get that like orders are a little strange sometimes, but it seemed odd to me. I think maybe with some of these retailers, when they order a box, they don't even know what series is gonna arrive. They just order another Halo Mega blind bag box. I guess most retailers wouldn't even know the difference wouldn't even know what they've uh, they've got their hands on. After this, we're going to check out one uh, Ross Dress for Less. Just near my hostel, so it's not gonna be a difficult one to get to. Really just wanna reiterate, super strange that I'm in the DC state capital and I'm Halo hunting, but it's been way less about what I find and more the experience. Just being able to go between all these cool districts, an excuse to just ride around on one of these electric scooters for hours. Beautiful thing, so Halo, Thank you for making me uh, go to all these interesting places. <laughs> the the stores not being the interesting thing, though it was interesting to see uh, just how different the layouts and general uh, general development of these stores are when they're in the middle of a city center because they're so different. AC Monkey, even though you can't see him because he's AC, there's nothing there. It's just I'm I'm holding literally nothing in my hand. Making movies is just my my absolute passion. Like making YouTube videos, it's what I live for right now and um, I think it's what I'm gonna take to my grave. No, I just, I thoroughly enjoy making videos and I hope you guys enjoy watching them. That's, that's my purpose, you know? It does feel like making videos is my, my purpose right now to keep people entertained. A happy thing to look forward to every day. I, I do uh, take it very seriously. Once I move back to England at the end of this year, just gonna be on that video grind uh, every single day. All right, would you look at that? AC monkey boys. I'd say that's a pretty good haul, to be honest. Hopefully Ross Dress for Less will have something. If it doesn't, I might try another Ross. But uh, in general, I'm happy with that as a haul. That's really nice. I'm happy to take them back to the beautiful state of Minnesota. Let's go check out Ross after some museums and some other general tourist stuff. There's literally endless things to see in this city. Away in all its beautiful glory and $7.99, which is actually a pretty damn good price. I don't think you can find it for less than retail right now, so that's really great. You can actually buy, like, usually the recon gets away the uh, Warthog Rally, that kind of stuff. You can get in bulk quite easily, but this is quite nice for $7.99. That's going in the basket. <laughs> 